Hi, I'm uh, I'm Alex Grossman. I'm a freshman at Clemson. Uh, this is my video blog on my new student dialogue. I attended the new student dialogue on how prejudice changes the world. I attended this in October. Um, basically, when everyone got in there in the room, we uh, we went around the room and introduced ourselves. We said uh, what our major was, where we were from and um, where we lived on campus. Um, after this, we just, we just did some basic you know, icebreaker games. Um, this loosened everyone up and um, got us ready for, uh, for discussion. Um, the first thing we did, uh, based on uh, or regarding the new student dialogue, uh, was we did a compare and contrast worksheet, which, uh, which looks like this right here. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I'll kind of turn it. All right. Um, basically, what we did is we were put in a group of about three people, um, and we were cho uh, told to choose two religions. Uh, I chose, or our group chose Christianity and Judaism. Um, then we just basically compared the traits of Judaism. Um, how they're alike, and then we uh, also, Judaism and Christianity, how they're alike, and then we also um, contrasted the two. Uh, and, you know, the purpose of doing this was to expose how similar, um, how most of the major religions, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and uh, Muslim, uh, Islam, and Hindu, they're all very similar with their basic traits. Um, and this this shows us that biases are not formed from the core fundamentals of the religion of the religions um but rather from the society in which the person forms the bias biases lives in so um so basically a person doesn't basically a real a religion doesn't tell the person um you know have a certain prejudice against another religion it's uh, the society that the person lives in um, basically molds the person into thinking, uh, informing different uh, prejudice. Uh, mainly, um, within the society, mainly the media, uh, one's family, friends. Uh, these are the main things that, you know, influence us uh, in our forming of prejudices. Because this is uh, who we spend the most time around. You know, watching TV, reading the newspaper, on the internet. Um, we spend a lot of time with our family and and our friends. So, um, then the next thing we did was we uh, formed this uh, this we, we filmed out this uh, filled out this social identity wheel. Looks looks like this. Um, this was formed by the Intergroup Relations Center of Arizona State University. Um, some pretty useful stuff we got here. Um, and basically what we did with it is, or basically what it is, it's a giant wheel with different, uh, traits around, or characteristics, not characteristics, but for example, the, they were race, ethnicity, socioeconomic class, gender, sexual orientation, age, national origin, first language, and physical, emotional, developmental ability. And basically, we went through all these, and we were told to uh, make a pie chart, uh, ranking each one on the level of importance or level of impact on our everyday life. Basically, which one has the most impact, which one has the least impact. Um, for me, um, you know, being physically able has the biggest impact on my life. Uh, so I ranked that number one, um, and then, you know, the least important one being number 10. Um, and basically what this shows is, you know, it just, when you put something and make something, something visual like this, you know, it, it really makes you, uh, understand and what, how each of these has an impact on your li everyday life. And, you know, before this, I didn't really think about it like that. I didn't really think about how my ethnicity would have an impact on my everyday life, but, uh. This kind of exposed it. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, and then what we did 
was we took our charts, our individual charts, and we uh, compared it with, we were put in a group and we compared the, uh, the charts. Um, and basically what, you know, the conclusion, we found that uh, everyone has a different chart. So everyone ranked different things, like one person might have ranked their race oh, and one, as number one, one person might have ranked their, uh, their gender as being the most important. You know, everyone sees things differently. And this is uh, mainly because of uh, the society they were brought up in again. Um, so society is very, very important. It molds us, makes us who we are. And then the last thing we did was we did uh, a discussion on the prejudices in the world. Um, this was uh, the real interesting one um, of the discussions was one of the questions, the uh, I guess you could call them the proctors of the New Student Dialogue, one of the things they asked was uh, how does media affect prejudices and make uh, make people form prejudices. And basically, the media is very powerful. What they do is, you know, they might only show um, part of something. They show what they want to show, basically. And when people see that, they only see that aspect of it. So, for example, um, and then, for example, you know, Muslims being terrorists, you know, the, the media might show Muslims blowing up uh, blowing blowing up a building, um, and that's it. That's all those shows. So then people go and form the bias that all Muslims are terrorists, which is absolutely not true. Um, but the media only wants to show that because that's what's in, that's what people are going to find interesting. Um, so you know, the media is it's a very po they're very powerful, but they can also be very dangerous. Um, and so you know, that's one thing that we that we had a huge discussion on. I put my input into the uh, into the discussion and uh, it all went well. And then lastly, you know, the proctors were, uh, were very good at keeping the peace bet between uh, or during the discussion and they made sure everyone was heard. So, you know, it was, uh, it was very good. I learned a lot from this new student dialogue and um, I thought it went very well. So, uh, and uh, that's it. Thank you.